Right then guys, welcome to another episode of Hooked Fishing. Unfortunately the weather outside is absolutely atrocious today with Storm Kira battering at the windows so I've decided not to go out fishing obviously and uh, I thought I'd get a few bits and bobs ready for an upcoming pike session that me and Jamie are going to be doing. So with that in mind I've decided to set some more traces up and I thought I might as well show you how I make them while I'm at it. So if you can see this, this is a trace that I made up previously and you might see that there's some shrink wrap on that and if that'll just get in focus now the shrink wrap's not necessary but it does help keep everything neat and tidy basically um, I'm not going to bother today these traces don't tend to last that long they tend to get damaged and uh, eventually you have to remake some so for this you will need some trebles, the size of your choosing. Personally I prefer size 6 for most of the fishing that I do. Um, seems to be a good go between the 8s I tend to find are a little bit small. They're okay for jack pike, but the 4s tend to be a little bit on the large side. I don't tend to fish dead baits that are absolutely huge, so I'll probably go up to half a mackerel tail as the biggest bait that I'll use when I'm dead baiting. So the trebles I use are the fox excess carbon predators you'll need some trace wire uh, the wire I'm using at the moment is Pike Pro it's nice supple wire this version's in £20 I've also got some £30 I don't think it matters I mean personally I just go with the £30 nowadays do not seem to make any difference in takes you need one of these twizzle sticks decent pair of braid scissors and a swivel size 8 or a snap swivel of your choosing obviously if you want to do the heat shrink you'll need a bit of that and you'll need to thread that on the uh, on the trace prior to uh, twisting them up okay so with that let's get started so I like to make my traces up to about 20 inches long take yourself a good couple of foot of trace wire off of the reel. So take your trace wire, get one of your treble hooks, these are brilliant these Fox Predator carbon treble hooks, they're so 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 sharp and they don't ever rust. Now they do have a micro barb on one of the prongs, don't know if you can see that, I'll just try it, get that one in focus. It's very, very difficult for me to try and do that. But they're, uh, they're quite small. So these are, these are ideal looks. These. You can flatten that other barb down if you want on the, on, the, uh, on the top treble. Or the bottom treble, I should say. The one that would be the furthest down the fish's mouth. And just leave the micro barb on for the one that actually you put into the dead bit. If you look at these, they normally have a flat segment. And that's the flat side is where we want our trace wire to run when we make it up. So there's two hooks like that, which and on the back side of that is flat, and then the one hook sticks up on the top. So it's important to pay attention to that. So take your trace wire and fold over, leaving about two and a half to three inches, and just Form a little V into it. And push that from the back side of the flat flat part through the eye of the treble. Like so. Then what you want to do is take the loop and bring it over the front hook so that the two wires sit below and once you've done that pull it up and it should sit through the back nicely so it's actually secured around the bottom of the hooks I prefer spinning all my traces I think the neater I've got more confidence in it than uh, 
using crimps. So we'll just take that now and get our twizzle stick and just hook over the end of one of the hooks and whilst holding the tag end across the main part of the trace at like 45 degree angle to the main part of the trace we're just going to start turning and we're just going to start working that up until it spins onto the main wire and this will be so tight that it'll never come undone I've never had one of these fail on me and I've had some big pike out on these just keep twisting working that tag end through your thumb until you feel it spring loose and that's turning freely now and that's it so it's spun up nice and neat I've never had one of those fail on me now if you want you can cover that with the heat shrink and just shrink that down now before you put your second treble on so to do the second treble Quite a bit easier. You need to decide what sort of size baits you're going to be using. I know from experience roughly how far apart I want these trebles to sit. Um, so I usually go for about three inches, maybe a little bit less. The further apart they are, the more danger you have of deep hooking a fish because it'll be further down the dead bait. So if you space them, probably about two inches apart. It's usually about perfect. So all we've done is we've come through the treble again, coming underneath the back side, set the distance apart that you want the trebles to sit. Two to two and a half inches is probably about right. And then once you've come from the back side of the treble, you need to loop this back around the hook. Quite difficult to do on camera. So you go back down the hook, and then making sure that is nice and tight, wind it three or four times back up the shank of the hook before coming through the back side of the hook again. To lock it off. So pull back through, just pull back through the treble, and that is now locked off. So that in essence forms the basis of our pike trace. All we need to do now is put a swivel on in the exact same manner that we did the first travel. Again, if you wanted to heat shrink this connection then put a piece of heat shrink on now before you slide the treble on. So we've folded the wire over, I've come through the first eye I'm popping that over the back of that swivel. Get yourself some good quality size 8 barrel swivels and then pulled it back through. And again, now you can see that the tag just needs to come across 45 degrees from the main part of the trace and if you hold those two parts such that that stays at 45 degrees put your finger and thumb over the top and take your twizzle stick now don't, don't put it in the end eye because you'll not get anywhere you need to put it into the one that the wire is going through and again Start twizzling. Until it's wrapped all the way down. So that's it. One trace made up. It's around 18 inches long. And it's ready to go. The last thing you need is to be able to store that safely. Because those hooks are sharp and they'll get in your fingers, believe me. And they hurt. 
So you need one of these rig bins or something like this. A piece of foam, something that will store your hooks away safely and you can just wind your rigs onto these bins, put a pin in and store them up for later use and then you're ready to go. So usually having half a dozen rigs with you is enough. Uh, you shouldn't be losing more than that and if you are it's probably time to go home. Right guys, if you found this video of some use, then please consider subscribing to the channel. You can do that by hitting the Hooks logo up here. Or if you want to see how I put some of these traces into action, please check out the video of pike fishing on the river ooze over here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.